Well, he sure is a lot different, Don. He's not a power pitcher any longer. He made 32 starts this season at a very good ERA, pitched over 200 innings. And look at the opponent's batting average. To me, that's a real telltale sign. He's got overpowering stuff, and as Ron Washington told us this morning, he's a swing and a miss pitcher. He will create an awful lot of opportunities to rack up the strikeouts here this afternoon. Strikes out to conclude the top of the first inning. 407 to right center. And is leading it off and grounding one is Joyce. It is off of Moreland into foul ground, but covering and in time is Colby Lewis. Nice play by the pitcher to get over there to cover, and they just do now. Matt Joyce at first base. Only had a couple of bats. Johnson strikes out. And a field. He strikes out. It's the bad news from Jerry Neal's home plate umpire. It's a third K for Colby Lewis. And his He's ahead again. One and two the count of Ben Zobrist. He's got three Ks. And make it four. Back to back strikeouts to end the top of the third. We're through two and a half. Crawford strikes out. The big strikeout for Colby Lewis. Ball four. He walks the leadoff hitter. And there is the fifth walk given up by Lewis. And here comes Ron Washington. So it was indeed just the first batter of this inning that Lewis was going to face, and as he walks Longoria, they have Holland ready to go. I think that Lewis was going to get one batter in this inning, no matter if he got Longoria out or not. But what a job by Colby Lewis to set the tone again for this Rangers ball club. Rangers faithful to let him know what they think of him as he heads off. One nothing, Texas. 